Welcome to digitalconstructive.com and in this video we're going to be talking about the C61 D40 service station equipment and maintenance contractor license. Now a service station and equipment contractor engages in a variety of different duties associated with gas station and service station equipment maintenance. Now they install and remove underground fuel storage tanks up to 20,000 gallons. They engage in installation or removal of incidental tank related piping and various electrical and calibration work. They work with vapor recovery equipment, tank gauges, leak line detectors, uh, vapor recovery lines, in-station diagnostics, testing and adjustment of leak detection also. Now there's a variety of different other responsibilities associated with this license that you can check out on our website. We have the full list, um, but this is kind of just a snapshot of what this license is about. So essentially you need a D40 license to bid on any service station equipment and maintenance projects where the total cost exceeds $500 in labor and materials. Now how long does it take to get a California contractor license? You're looking at an average time frame of about 90 days. Now typically you can expect a six to eight week application processing time and then generally another three to four weeks before you go and take your test. Now the basic requirements for a California contractor license are that you're at least 18 years of age, you'll need a valid driver's license or USAID, you'll need a social security or I-10 number, and you can't currently be on probation or parole. Your experience requirements are that you have at least four years full-time journey level experience within the last 10 years, you'll need somebody who can sign off on that experience, and if the contractor state license board asks to see proof of your experience, you've got to be ready to submit documentation. Now, who could you use to sign off on that experience? You could use a general contractor or a general engineering contractor, a D40 license holder, foreman or supervisor, a fellow journeyman or employee at a company that you work at, or in some cases, you could even use a business associate. Now, if you do have a criminal record, everybody has to do live scam fingerprinting when they apply for a contractor license in California. Be honest on the application. Typically, as long as your charges don't fall under fraud, forgery, or embezzlement, you should be okay but be ready to submit court documents just in case. Now, what can you expect on your exam? You only need to pass one test to get uh, the D40 license. It's gonna be 115 questions covering contractor license law. You'll have three hours to complete the test. It's a multiple choice exam. It's gonna be done on site on a computer and you could bring a translator the day of the exam if you need to. Now, the CSLB Law and Business Exam covers a variety of different topics. There'll be a portion on business organization, business finances, employment requirements, bonds, insurance, and liens, contract requirements and execution, licensing requirements, safety, and there'll also be a portion covering public works. Now, for information on study guides and online practice tests that can help you prepare for the exam, you can check out the links in the description of this video. Now, after you pass your contractor license test, you'll know your results immediately. You can do a, a retake typically within about three weeks. And once you pay your license activation and provide what's called a contractor bond number, typically the CSOB should send you your license in the mail in about two to three weeks. Now, the costs include a state application fee, a license activation fee, and then a renewal fee every two years. You'll pay for the cost of fingerprinting, and you'll also cover your contractor bond fee. Now, for a full view of the most up-to-date California contractor license costs, you can check out uh, the video that appears at the end of this one. This has just been a brief snapshot at the D40 license. For the full guide, you can check out our website. For additional information on bonding, trade skills, and more, like and subscribe to our channel. And any questions that you have, feel free to drop them in the comments. Uh, but again, this is digitalconstructive.com, and thanks again for watching.